That's what happens when you master record and you change shirts to make it look like, you know, it's a new day. Even though I have the exact same makeup in every single one of these videos. Welcome to Part of My Imagination. I'm Imagination and you're the Imaginers. Welcome if this is your first time. My name is Jasmine and welcome back if this is your second or third or how many times you click on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing, as you can tell from the title, 23 books that I want to read in 2023. Now, um, these are in no particular order. This was literally just me sitting on my couch looking at my bookshelf and saying, what do I want to read? What are some books that I've been neglecting that I just want to get to? So I realized that although I am not a mood reader, I am definitely a TBR person. I definitely have to follow a TBR or I'm lost in the sauce and I don't know what to read. So that's why if you haven't been paying attention to the videos that I've been putting out, I've been putting out series of books that I want to read in 2023 that all follow a certain structure. So duology, uh, series, standalones, um, classics, tomes. And now I just want to pick a number of books. Why not 23? Because next year is 2023. Of books that I just want to focus on. Um, that's not to say that my TBR still won't be random books that I pick, but I just do want to have a select amount of books that I'm just knowing, hey, I want to focus on these books. So again, this is going to be a long video. So buckle up, get your snacks, get your drinks, play me in the background, do what you got to do. Um, and let's just get into the book. All right. The first book that I have is a book that my boyfriend threatened me. If I didn't have it on my book, he, on my TBR, he's going to be like, oh, why am I on my TBR? He didn't really threaten me, obviously, because he's not that type. Anyways, yeah, um, he just was like, why you ain't read my book yet? And I was like, dang, calm down. I'm not even really in a reading mood. So I put it on my, this is the first book I talked about. He can't, he, see, he sees me talking about it. Okay. And I'm pretty much just going to probably read it in January. Cause if not, he's going to be like looking at me like, you know? So anyways, that's <laughs> Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. Um, if you didn't watch, I just did a haul, um, talking about this book. Again, don't know what this book is about, but it's about this girl who is a prophet, who is a liar, and the prince wants to get rid of her. She has to find a way to not get, be, she just has to find a way to not get her job taken away from her. So, yes, this book is so beautiful. Um, he got this, he seen, he was watching a booktube video and seeing this and was like, oh my god, I had to give this for her. So he went in and picked it up for me. Another book that I have is Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes. This is the third book in the Fallen Kingdom series. Um, this book was kind of inspired by Princess's video because she was talking about series that she wanted to read and continue on in 2023. And this is a series that I have been wanting to continue. I've loved it. It's about political. It's not about, but it has a ton of political intrigue. It's about three kingdoms um, pretty much all becoming coming together and having a war. And again, political intrigue. Like, what more do you need? Like, I'm not saying it's the exact same thing as Game of Thrones, but just think political intrigue from Game of Thrones. And that's the type of intrigue that political intrigue that you're getting, but then add magic. Um, there is a trigger warning for incest, if that's not something that you're really into. But the only reason I say incest, because it's easier to say incest, but it doesn't actually fall under the realms of incest as far as both of the siblings are doing to let's just say it's unwarranted unwarranted it or not unwarranted unwanted incest i guess you could say without sexual assault or r anyways i'm getting too into too much into it but yes this is just following three different kingdoms and certain actions of one kingdom affects another kingdom that affects another kingdom and it triple effects into this war and you're just following hate love tellings unretellings magic and it's crazy. So I just want to get to this. All right, the next book that I really want to get to is Concrete Roads by Angie Thomas. This is, uh, this was her th uh, third, third. Because The Hate You Give and then On the Come Up was her second. This is her third um, book. Um, I believe this is just following a teenage boy. Um, if there's one thing 17-year-old Maverick Carter knows, it's that a real man takes care of his family. As the son of a former gang legend, Mav does does that the only way he knows how dealing the dealing for the king of lords for the king lords excuse me with the money he ha can help his mom who works two jobs while his dad is in prison life's not perfect but with a fly girlfriend and a cousin who's always on his back 
Mavs got everything under control until that is Maverick finds out he's a father. Suddenly he has a baby, Seven, who depends on him for everything. But it's not so easy to sling dope, finish school, and raise a child. So when he's offered the chance to go straight, he takes it. In a world where he's expected to amount to nothing, maybe Mav can prove he's different. When King Lord Blood runs through your veins, though, you can't just walk away. Loyalty, revenge, and responsibility threaten to tear Mav apart, especially after the broom would have a loved one. He'll have to find, he'll have to figure out for himself what he really means to be a man. Um, if you know anything about me, you know that I loved The Hate You Give. You know that I loved On The Come Up. So I'm positive I'm going to. And first of all, this is a black boy with a do-rag on. He has a do-rag on on a cover. In, like, what world? And I know that these are, this is, like, a prominent in, like, obviously, urban fiction. I hate calling it urban fiction because it's just fiction. But we all know, okay? The category of urban fiction. I know that these types of covers are, but, like, this is a YA Okay, and that's just not prominent, and I'm just loving it. I'm just loving the love that black boys are getting, and I'm here for it. Andrew Thomas, you know I'm here for it. All right, the next book that has been on my shelf for, like, two years now is The Lion Game by Ruth Ware, and I did read um, The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. I really enjoyed that book, um, so I just want to go ahead and read this. I know that this one came first. I'm not really sure what this is about. Again, this is a psychological thriller. It's a thriller, so I'm not going to read too much about it. It says, the rules are simple. One, tell a lie. Two, Stick to your story and three and never ever get caught. That's all I want, need to know, all I want to know. And I did get this book recommendation for Books and Lala. So there's that. All right, the next book I have is And the Mountains Echoed by Khalid Hassani. Who's Sunny? Who's Sunny? Um, I did read The Kite Runner and A Thousand Splendid Sons by this author and actually, actually like, loved them. They broke, they broke my heart. Like, they actually broke my heart. And I love them so much. These are t there are two of my favorite books. He's probably one of my favorite authors. Um, I could definitely say that confidently. This is the next book that I haven't read of his. So I just want to go ahead and read it. I have no idea what it's about. But I don't even know what it's about because, oh, look, I have the receipt right here for Half Price Book. I paid $8 for it. Anyways, I don't know what this book is about. But I'm just going to read this little snippet. An emotional, provocative, and unforgettable novel about how we love how we take care of one another, and how the choices we make resonate through generations. That's all I need to know. I didn't know really much about either of the other two going into it, so I don't need to know much about this one because I know that I'm going to just love it. All right, if you watch my other videos, there are some there are some books in these stacks that were in my other video so that I could go ahead and read these ones, and that is The Kingdom of Copper by S.A.R. Chakaborty. Um, I do want to reread The City of Brass so that I can go ahead and get to this one. It has been a while since I read City of Brass. I think it was two years ago I read it, um, so I just really want to go ahead and continue on in the series, but in order to do that, I need to do the reread, so yeah, I have this one. I did just read what this story is about, but it's basically following this girl named Nar- Excuse me, it's following this girl named Nari who pretty much acts like a gypsy, but she's not. she doesn't really believe in magic. But she ends up saying some gypsy, th gypsy things during a ritual that she was doing, like performing for, and she ends up like awakening this sleeping djinn. And her and this djinn travel through worlds, or the world, or all types of adventures, and to get to this city. And in this city, it awakens other things that are going on in the world. And it's just following their story. It's love, betrayal, the whole nine, war, all that drama with magic. And, uh, yeah, I just want to continue on in the series. So, here. All right, another book that I have is Crown of Thunder by Tonchi Onobuchi. This is, uh, the second book in the Beast of Midnight? Beast Made of Night, excuse me. Beast Made of Night. I read the first one. It's really short. Both of them are extremely short. Um, it's basically following these, these men, these warriors, excuse me, I don't want to say men. And it's following these warriors who are marked with all these tattoos and they slay these types of demons and the demons every time they slay the demon the bigger the demon it, it gets tattooed on their body and once they don't have any room on their body left they end up dying the first book was really interesting i might have to reread the first one because again i think i read this book in 2021 or 2020 um but i might just need to like skim it just to refresh my memory but, yeah, it's about this man named Todd. She's kind of pretty much the, one of the best of the Slayers. Um, and I do know that there was a rebel outbreaking that happened, too, 
Um, they were trying to overthrow, I believe, the queen or the king or something like that. I might just have to skim the other one. But I again, I do just want to, I'm trying to continue on and finish series um, and finish stories that I really enjoyed. So I just want to go ahead and start this one. All right, the next book that I have is Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse. Um, I believe this came out. I'm not, I'm, this is definitely not her first book, that's for sure. But I've heard nothing but great things about this series. This is the first book in the Fixed World series. I really enjoyed Black Sun by her, and then I did read The Fevered Star by her. I really, this is like one of my faves. I loved Black Sun so much. So I just wanted to go ahead and pick up uh, her other works, her other theories that she has. And it says, while most of the world has drowned beneath the sudden rising waters of a climate apocalypse, uh... De Dine, Dine, Dineta, Dineta, formerly the Navajo Reservation, has been born. The gods and heroes of, of legend walk the land, but so do monsters. All right, the next book that I have is Woman of Light, and this is by Kali Fajardu Einstein. Einstein. This is the author of Sabrina and Corina, and I love that book. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I had just recently bought this book at Barnes and Noble. I've seen it and I was like, oh, I gotta have it. I believe it came out this year in 2021, but I'm not too sure. And it reads, a dabbling epic of betrayal, uh, love and fate that spans five generations of an indigenous, uh, Chicano family in the American West from the author of the National Book Award. So yeah, it's basically about a, gen a generation of families, um, also indigenous representation so you know i'm here for that gotta love it all right the next book that i have is actor age evie brown by talia hilbert and this is the third book in the brown sisters um series this is a romance book i need to just go ahead and finish it i know this is princess's favorite book because of the representation of the character i have loved all three two of the books so i really just need to go ahead and finish it and it's also crazy because this is the only one that i own and i don't own the first two so, all right, the next book I have is a book that my boyfriend picked for me because he likes to torture me. And that is The First Binding by R.R. Verdi. Remember that? And this is brand new. This just came out this year, but this is a hunk of a book. But I was like, hey, baby, I'm trying to make a list of 23 books. Can you help me? And he was like, The First Binding. And I was like... You would pick out a, you know, 600 or 800 page book, you know, because that's love. <laughs> if it's not love, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but this is the first novel of a new epic fantasy series. All legends are born of truth and just as much lie. These, these are mine. Judge me for what you will, but you will never hear. But you will hear my story first. I buried the village of Ampar under a mountain of ice and snow. Then I killed their god. I've stolen old magic and been cursed for it. I started a war with those who walked before mankind and lost the princess I loved and wanted to save. I've caught lightning and bonfire. I am legend. I am a monster. My name is Ari. And this is the story of how I let loose the first evil. Ooh. I didn't even know. I wanted it because of the cover. But i'm i'm here for it all right the next book that i have is eliza and her monsters by francesca zapia and i read i read another one by her and i can't remember what now anyways this is one of princess's favorite books and i still haven't read it so i just need to go ahead and read my best friend's favorite books yeah but I believe this is this following a girl in the in, in the real world. Eliza Mark is shy, weird, and friendless. Online, she's Lady Constant, Constellation, the anonymous creator of a wildly popular web web comic monster. She Eliza can't imagine joining the real world as much as she loves the online one, and she has no desire to try. Then Wallace Warland, monsters, sees biggest fan fiction writer transfers to her school. Wallace thinks Eliza is just another fan. And as he draws her out of her shell, she begins to wonder if a life offline might be a w worthwhile. But when Eliza Secret is accidentally shared with the world everything she's built, her story, her friendship with Wallace, and her e even her sanity begins to fall apart. Dun dun dun. Alright, the next book that I have is Lakewood by Megan uh, Giddings. And I can't remember what this is about, but I believe it's a when Leanna Johnson's beloved grandmother dies and the full extent of the family de uh, debt is revealed, the black mill millennial drops out of college and takes a job in the mysterious and remote town of Lakewood, Michigan. 
On paper, her job looks too good to be true, and Leanna has to do all Leanna has to do is participate in a secret research program full of seemingly world changing discoveries, an eye drop that makes brown eyes blue, a med- medication that could be a cure for dementia, and golden pills promise to make all bad things go away, but the consequences for the subject involved could be devastating. Provoking and thrilling, Lakewood is a breathtaking novel that takes on unflinching look at the horror that has been forged on black bodies in the name of science. All right, the next book I have is Winter Counts, and this is by David Hesha. Uh, he, Hishika. Hishka. Juan B. White, Wilden. Wyden. Excuse me. Wyden. But I have no idea what it's about. I just know that it's dealing with a indigenous author. So that's why I picked it up. Virgil Wounded Horse is a local enforcer on the Rosebed Indian Reservation in South Dakota. When justice is denied by the American legal system or the tribal council, Virgil is hired to deliver his own punishment, the kind that's hard to forget. But when um, heroin makes its way onto the reservation and by Virgil's nephew, his vigilantism suddenly becomes personal. He enlists the help of his ex-girlfriend and sets out to learn where the drugs are coming from and how to make them stop. They follow a lead to Denver and find that drug cartels are rapidly expanding and forming new and terrifying alliances. And back on the reservation, a new tribal council initiative raises uncomfortable questions about money and power. As Virgil starts to link the pieces together, he must face his own demons and reclaim his native identity. Ooh, okay, this is probably a book that I can read with my boyfriend because my boyfriend does like crime thrillers. Like, that's his thing. If you know a Josh Grisham, Josh, John Grisham, Grisham? Grisham. John Grisham is his go-to. Now, he done found this new author. Now, all of a sudden, that's all he want to read. Okay? So, crime thriller. I might have to get him to read this book with me because it's definitely giving crime. Crime. Okay? It's not crime thriller. It's just crime. That's cool. But he likes crime books, so he can read this with me. And it's an indigenous author. So, we're going to do it how to do it. All right. The next book that I have is Seven Blades in Black by Sam Skies. I know a person thinks about this author. I don't really care. I haven't heard them. I just heard that people didn't like this author. And again, it is what it is. Her magic was stolen. She was left for dead. Betrayed by those she trusted most. And her magic ripped from her. Sal the Cacophony? 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 Sure. Has nothing left but her name, her story, and the weapon she used to carve both. But when she has a will stronger than magic and knows exactly where to go. But she has a will stronger than magic and knows exactly where to go. The Scar is a land torn between powerful empires when rogue mags go to disappear, disgraced soldiers go to die, and Sal goes with a blade, a gun, and a list of seven names. Mm. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Yeah, I'm excited to get to this. It's been on my shelf for at least a year. I know I bought this last year. Um, so I just need to go ahead and get to it, you know? Oh my god, baby. My mic has been on the ground the entire time. So I don't know if you heard any of that video. I'm just going to go ahead and keep recording. Because if you didn't get that audio, I don't know what to tell you. Alright? Yeah. Um, I'm so upset right now. <laughs> Let me put my mic on. And, uh... Of course, it had to be on the video that's 23 books long, you know? How many books Um, I have two, four, six, eight, eight books left. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Because I looked at the camera, and I was like, what? where's the little black thing? And then I went like this, and then it wasn't there, and I was like, what? And then I went down my shirt, and I was like, it's not there. And then I looked on the ground. It was on the ground the whole time. That's what happens when you master record and you change shirts to make it look like you know, it's a new day, even though I have the exact same makeup in every single one of these videos. <sighs> We're just going to pray that you heard me. And if you didn't hear me, then the next book I have is The Storm Crow. And that's by Kaylin Joseph, um, Joseph's son, Joseph, Joseph son, Jesus. A storm is rising in the tropic, in the tropical kingdom of Rodare. Elemental crows are part of every aspect of life until the El- Alugan, 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 Empire invades, destroying all the crows and bringing Rodare to its knees. That terrible night has thrown Princess Antea, Anthea, excuse me, Anthea, into a deep depression. Her sister, Calzia, 
Kaliza, Kaliza. I should learn how to pronounce. Kaliza is busy running the kingdom after her mother's death, but all Talia, Taya, Tyla, Tyla, and Tia, Anthea, Thea. I need to learn how to read. All Thea can do is think of everything she has lost, including her dream of becoming a crow rider. All right, the next book that I'm so excited to get to is the Rage of, the Rage of Dragons, and this is by Evan Winter. Black author, by the way. And anyways, this is by the, um, the oh, it is the Om High people have been fighting an unwinnable fight for 100,000 years. Their society has been built around war and only war. The lucky ones are born gifted. One in every 2,000 women has the power to call down dragons. One in every 100 men is able to magically transform himself into a bigger, stronger, faster killing machine. Everyone else is fought, fought, fodder, excuse me. Destined to fight and die in the endless war. Young gifted list Tao, Tayu, excuse me, knows all of this, but he has a plan of escape. He's going to get himself injured, get out early, and settle down to the simple life, marriage, children, and land. Until those closest to him are brutally murdered and his grief swiftly turns to anger. Filled by thoughts of revenge, Tayu dedicates himself to an unthinkable path. He'll become the greatest swordsman to ever live. A man willing to die a hundred thousand times for the chance to kill the three who betrayed him. Wow. That sounds so good. This cover is so freaking phenomenal. Like, the cover is so good. It's giving, it's giving black black characters it's giving dreads on a cover and it's everything that i ever needed all right the next book that i have is son of the storm and this is by suni davies okunja boya okunga boya excuse me i'm so sorry um and yes this book is in the city of basa donzo is a clever scholar on the cusp of achieving greatness, only he doesn't want it. Instead, he prefers to chase forbidden stories about what lies outside the city walls. The bossy elite claim there, there is nothing of interest. The city's immigrants are sworn to secrecy. But when Donzo stumbles across this warrior wielding magic that shouldn't exist, he's but on a collision course with Boss's darkest secrets. Drawn into the city's history, hidden history, he sets out on a journey beyond his borders. And the chaos left in the wake of his discovery threatened to destroy the empire. It's the cover for me. It's the cover for me. Okay, if you didn't read, if you didn't see my other videos, go ahead and go ahead and watch them. Go ahead and go ahead. Go ahead and watch them. I will link them down in the description so you can just see the series of all the books that I want to read for 2023. This will be a playlist as well, so I'll have that linked. Um, but the, uh, I want to read, I want to reread The Last Magician so I can go ahead and pick up The Devil's Thief. And that is, this is by Lisa Maxwell. Excuse me. Again, if you didn't watch the other video, or you, if you don't know, The Last Magician is basically about this society of musicians, and they have to do something to save their, something to do with the, having to save their, their universe. So there's a, a bunch of time travel, and they have to save their universe. So they go to try to steal this book that has the magic spell or whatever in it so there's this girl who is really good at her job and she travels back in time in the 1920s to go ahead and find this book to steal it and she go ahead she has to do she has to deal with all of these different tribulations to go ahead and get this book it's obviously not as easy easy as just going and selling the book she has to find the book talk to the person get the book and all this other stuff another book picked from my boyfriend is the cost of knowing by Brittany morris i read slay by Brittany, Brittany morris and slay is one of my favorite books so i am not upset about this at all but this is following a 17 year old boy alex rufus is trying his best he tried he tries to be the best employee he can be at the local ice cream shop the best boyfriend he can be to his amazing girlfriend talia and the best protector he can be to his little brother, Isaiah. But as much as Alice tries, he often comes up short. It's hard for him to be present when every time he touches an object or person, Alex sees into its future. If I don't know what, I don't even know what this book is about because I just bought it because one, the cover, like, hello, you know me. I'm all about black boys on the cover because we need more black boys on the covers. The next book that I have is Redemptor by Jordan Ifuku. Ifuku? Ifuku? Excuse me, sorry. This is the second book in the, is there a series name for this? It's a sequel to Raybearer. And I do believe that it's only duology. So 
Um, look at the cover. Like, I can't get over this cover. I love, 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 love the first one, Ray Bearer. I actually loved it. The, loved the relationships. Loved the storyline. Loved the plot. I loved everything about it. If you don't know what Ray Bearer is about, it's following this girl who... At a young age, doesn't ha, ha, was not raised by any parents. She was raised by tutors and all this stuff. And little does she know is that her mom put a curse on her to kill the prince of the kingdom. And the way this world is set up is that each, each king has a group of people who are around him. And they each have a certain specialty to protect the king and they all are kind of joined interjoined by this connection and she has to go into the princess connection and she has to kill him all right the next book i have is a book that my mom picked for me and that's star daughter by shavita sakara sakara and this book is purple i love it it's not signed i wish it was signed it'd be cool if it was signed but it's okay that it's not signed I got this from Half Price Books. Oh, I got this from Second and Charles, I believe. I think this is a Second and Charles sticker. Yeah, because they put these ridiculous stickers that you can't get off on. Um, if the night sky holds many secrets, it holds she tall miss mysteries. Mysteries? Secret the closest. A secret that explains why her hair is a silver or starlight or why some nights the stars call Sheeta by name. Stars like her mother who returned to her place in the constellation Push Pushya years ago. Since that day, Shito has been forced to hide. But as her 17th birthday draws near, the, the pull from the sky is growing stronger. So strong that Shito loses control and a flare of star fire burns her human father. An injury only a full star's blood can heal. Shito has no choice but to answer the star song and ascend to the sky. But her ancestral family has summoned her for a reason, to act as their human companion in a competition to decide the next ruling house of the heavens. What? And look at the cover. The girl is beautiful. I love this. I'm excited to pick this up. That's why I put it on this list. All right, and last but certainly not least on this list is Parable, Parable, excuse me, Parable of the Talents by Octavia E. Butler. I read the first one which is parable of the sowers and oh my god so freaking good it was so freaking good this book is not this book but the first book um power parable of the top of the sower is basically following this girl who has a condition where she basically can feel people's emotions she is an empath an empath empath excuse me but like exaggerated so like when you're hurt she's hurt if she sees it she has to witness it um and then she's living in this pre-apocalyptic world where they're fenced into this society and they think they're safe but they're really not and all the neighbors try to band together to kind of keep everyone safe but people move they leave in they leave out they die and things are just getting really crazy and so she decides like hey we really need to leave here before we just get overran. And some crazy things happen. You're just following her story while she is dealing with this, this condition. And it's really crazy. Okay. And I loved it so much that I just want to go ahead and continue on. I might reread that one again just because it's fresh in my memory. But I don't necessarily need to. But we'll see. I do want to pick this up. All right. Those are all the 23 books that I have pinpointed as I just want to focus on. And throughout the year, I want to go ahead and get to them. Um, so, yeah. If you want to buddy read any of them, let me know down in the comments or hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, the comments. I have a Discord. If you want to join my Discord, it is linked down below. Um, and just, you know, let me know. If not, just if you read any of these, let me know how they are. If I should if we get to them first or whatever but that is all that i have for you guys today be sure to check my description where you can find easy ways to contact me as well as all the books that i talked about if you like this video be sure to like comment and subscribe and if not just imagine how you did and come back again until next time keep imagining mm -hmm.